Let's say that we've run six people in our experiment, and we want to test whether incongruence troop trials elicit slower reaction times than congruence troop trials. We'll be using two different programs in the ePrime suite called eMerge and eDataAid. Go to your ePrime folder and open up eMerge. eMerge is used for combining data from different subjects. Navigate to the folder where your eDAT files are output. This should be the same folder where you ran the experiment. Click on Filter and select eDAT2. Select all of the subject eDAT files and select Merge. Call this Stroop Merge and click OK. Now, open up eDataAid and open up Stroop Merge, the file that we just created. The first thing you'll notice is that there is a lot of data. A lot. ePrime logs every attribute into the eDAT files, and most of it you won't care about. We can hone in on the data we do care about by using the filter command. Click on this button here and click on Condition. We're only interested in the congruent and incongruent troop trials and not the car trials. If we check just the congruent and incongruent conditions, we're left only with those conditions. Next, click on the calculator. We can use this to organize our data and calculate statistics. Imagine that we want the average reaction time for the congruent and incongruent conditions listed for each subject. The best way to organize this would be to have the rows list the subject and the columns list the mean RT for congruent and incongruent conditions. Click and drag subject into rows and condition into columns. Lastly, click and drag expstroopslide.rt into the data box. You can double click on it and select any number of statistics but the mean is the one we will use today. You can also save this analysis for future analyses. In the name field, let's call this Stroop Calc, and then click on Save Analysis and save it out as Stroop Calc. If you click on Run, you'll see the mean reaction time for each condition in the format we specified. This can then be exported into a format that can be read by another statistical program. Or you can click on Excel Copy, and it will automatically paste this data to an Excel spreadsheet. You can then run a statistical test using Excel's built-in function t.test. Select one array, then the other array, and then specify the number of tails, in this case, a two-tailed test, and a paired t-test, because each subject was exposed to both conditions. These statistics can then be reported in your paper. You've now run a Stroop task from start to finish with ePrime. Congratulations! This is most of what you'll need to run behavioral tests. In the last video of this series, we will learn how to adapt this script to use it with an MRI scanner. See you soon.